5 seconds to go start sir while supporting the demands for grants of the commerce ministry i compliment the commerce minister for the excellent work done during the year on all matters falling within the purview of the ministry the report of the ministry highlights the achievements and puts the problems in a correct perspective the time has now come to push ahead with policies for placing greater emphasis on exporting finished and semi finished goods in preference to raw materials this will promote industrialization and help augment foreign exchange earnings renewed emphasis must be laid on creation of export surplus and restraining the pull of the home market as and when it develop through suitable fiscal measures this is very important we must create export surplus otherwise we cannot improve our exports there is a paramount need to do some fundamental rethinking on export assistance measures is it possible to replace the present schemes of cash compensatory support and import replenishment by a more durable system such as taxing profits attributable to exports to a concessional rate also a scheme of tax credit certificate can be introduced for this purpose i suggest that a compact high level committee preferably including non official experts should be appointed the increasing problems of sales tax on export transactions must be resolved it was over a year ago that the supreme court had made a judgment that chain contracts for exports through state trading corporation would not be exempt from sales tax i understand that commerce ministry is engaged in resolving this problem but so far no action has been taken the problem of export finance must be examined so as to put indian exporters at least on par with their competitors adequate shipping facilities must be provided this problem must be taken up in right earnest i believe that india has the capacity to become a world leader in exports of cotton textiles ready made garments sugar processed vegetable oils leather manufacturers and engineering goods these potentialities can be realized by initiating a bold program of augmenting production of raw cotton sugar cane oil seeds steel etc i also attach great importance to the efforts that the commerce ministry have been making in building a healthy relationship between industry and trade there should be complete harmony on all matters concerning policies 
एंड प्रोसीजर्स एंड रेगुलर एंड फ्रीक्वेंट डिस्कशंस मस्ट टेक प्लेस बिटवीन दी कमर्शियल ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस एंड गवर्नमेंट आई फाइंड दैट वी हैव टू मैनी एसोसिएशंस बोथ एट द सेंटर स्टेट एंड डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल्स सच एक्सपेंशन इज नॉट अ हेल्थी प्रोसेस आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट दिस मैटर शुड बी एग्जामिंड इन ऑल इट्स आस्पेक्ट्स सो दैट देर आर सेलेक्टेड ऑल इंडिया ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस व्हिच कैन स्पीक विद अप्रोप्रिएट नॉलेज एंड स्टडी ऑन ऑल मैटर्स relating to export promotion and industrial development i know myself that many of the commercial houses have now reoriented their thinking they are wedded to achieve national goals in which the highest priority must be given to promotion of exports through creation of larger surpluses i am glad to find that a new department of textiles is being created the cotton textile and jute industries are currently in a bad way and are working below capacity there is a crying need for initiating programs of modernization renovation and rehabilitation i would like to submit that the commerce ministry should restore health to the cotton textile industry so that the general economic and industrial outlook in the country will improve the policy announced in the beginning of december last year was good as far as it went but there is need to review it so that a vigorous program of development of the spinning sector can be initiated without further loss of time i would like to take this opportunity of referring to the number of joint commissions that have been set up with different countries in the world i suggest that the business community should be associated with the discussions as also in negotiating trade agreements that will be really very beneficial i am happy to find that a separate chapter has been devoted in the report of the commerce ministry to indian industrial joint ventures abroad it is true that prospective entrepreneurs wishing to set up joint ventures receive due assistance from government i would however suggest that india's potentialities and capabilities in this regard should be realized more fully here i would also suggest our collaboration with other countries in putting up industries in third countries we can always collaborate with the russia china or japan to put up industries in third world countries such collaboration will be beneficial to all concerned india has well developed capacities in the field of construction architecture town planning dam engineering mining 
ओयल एक्सप्लोरेशन पावर इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजमेंट एंड इकोनॉमिक कंसल्टेंसी सब कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग पर्टिकुलरली इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया ऑफर्स लार्ज स्कोप एंड देयर इज नो हार्म इन बिकमिंग अ जूनियर पार्टनर प्रोवाइडेड इट कैन गिव सेटिस्फैक्ट्री रिजल्ट टू द नेशन I would suggest that the commerce ministry should take greater interest in enabling indian entrepreneurs to realize the potential in this behalf stop